in this video I'm going to show you how to export your song for mastering. So it's very similar to exporting it for mixing, uh, just a little bit easier. So the first thing you want to do instead of exporting all tracks like we did in mixing, when you're in the export when you're exporting it for mastering, you're just going to bounce the project. Um, the very first thing you want to do is as the beats playing, you want to look at your meters in your on your master channel. You want to make sure that you don't have any effect plugins on your master channel. And you want to make sure that your levels are not going above negative 3 dB. All right, if so, just bring your master fader down slightly. So you want you don't want it to go above negative three, but I prefer negative six just to give me a little bit more room uh, to maximize your song. All right. So after you verify that your master levels are fine, you want to go to if you're in Logic Pro, you want to go to File, you want to go to Bounce, Project or Section. Once again, if you're in a different DAW like Studio One or Pro Tools or Reason or FL Studio, it's probably a very similar process and you can get detailed steps just by going to YouTube University. Once I'm inside of Logic, I do not want an MP3. I want the audio quality as high as possible. So I want a PCM, which stands for Pulse Code Modulation. That's a whole nother lesson. But I want PCM, I want the file format to be waved, wave. I want the resolution to be 24 bit. And I want to make sure that it's starting at one and ending at wherever the song ends. Then you're just gonna press okay and you're gonna hit bounce. And that is how you export your track for mastering.